Good morning. It is Wednesday, January 24, 2018. We're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome in the news. No problems with the money carta. Law on imported chicken will be debated this week. Government is ready to discuss austerity measures in Parliament. And paprika and tomato to be grown in the interior for export. I am Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. There is no problem with the money carta. Clients still have to master the process to use the credit card. So said the head of the customer service at the Surinamese Pospar Bank, Raisa White. Yesterday, a story appeared in the media in which there was talk about problems with the money carta. White said that there are more benefits than complaints. The management of the bank, together with the Ministry of Social Affairs and Public Housing, talked about how to improve information. On the basis of the complaints, it is clear that some of the money carta holders do not know how to use this card. The law on the 40% import duty on chicken and chicken parts will be discussed this week in a public preliminary meeting in the National Assembly. The debate will be monitored by the Association of Poultry Sector Suriname, APSS. According to Nemchand Kanai, chairman of the APSS, the increase of the rates on the import of chicken and chicken parts will ensure revival within the sector. The government is ready to start the discussion in Parliament this week on the package of structural measures that it wishes to implement. It regards a list of 25 measures to increase state income without affecting the common citizen, said President Ashwin Adin, said Vice President Ashwin Adin. Despite the good prospects that have been projected for 2018, these structural measures still have to be implemented. More cutbacks in government spending is not an option for the Vice President. He said that this week, the government is open for negotiation with several trade unions on salary adjustments. For Vice President Adin, the implementation of wage adjustments for civil servants and the re-evaluation of a number of target groups must be accompanied by quality improvement within the various services or ministries. Parts of the interior will grow paprika and tomatoes later this year. Yesterday, the signing took place by the Israeli company Agrobusiness and the district commissioners of Burkopondo, Sipaliwini, and Marowena. This collaboration involves the execution of an agricultural project in these three districts. The mayor of Burkopondo, Kenya Pansa, took the lead by setting up 15 greenhouses in her district. During a meeting with the press, an explanation was given about this agricultural plan for the interior. I want to congratulate the, the Deca District Commissioner, Kenya Panza, for <coughs> her vision uh, in, in actually seeing the possibilities and the potential of this project. I also want to congratulate uh, Ms. Reina Rivalis uh, for her, her vision, encouragement, and in making this day happen. I believe this is the first of many, and there are other districts uh, that have seen the potential of this and how it can add value to the nation. And um, the other, the one other tick that I believe this really achieves as well is that the funds are going to be raised from where? From private equity. The funds are going to be raised from, from private investment. And so you have private investment creating 
increasing your foreign exchange reserves and creating jobs. That's a great combination. 80% of the products in this agricultural project will be exported to the United States and 20% will be destined for the local market. This will provide foreign exchange income and also create employment for almost 600 people. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow for more. Have a blessed day. Thank <laughs> you.